Welcome, welcome. It's Monday, and it's a spirit day, a non-whiskey or whiskey wannabe flavor day. So um, we hope you like this. Uh, this is going to be a really interesting review. Um, this is Cody's, and so I'm sure he's aching to take this home. And we've only had this in the bar for just a few years. <laughs> no, well, 25, 20. Yeah. Uh, we haven't let him take it home because we have to do a review. So I actually thought we did a review, but I checked and we haven't. So we're going to go ahead and get this out. Um, if you like what we do, make sure you hit the like and subscribe and check out all of our other videos each and every day, Monday through Friday. Um, we drop one of all sorts of cool stuff and we even throw in some coffee on Wednesday. Coffee. I like coffee. Yeah, I like coffee. So we're going to look at um, a cognac and I can't even remember when the last time we reviewed a cognac. It seems like been it was months or more. a long time ago, which means it was probably the last episode. <laughs> But it seems like it's been a long time since we've done any cognacs. It was probably the uh, um, the brandies, actually, that we just did, because Cody got a bunch of brandies. But this is, I hope I'm saying this right, this is a French cognac called Doucet? Doucet? Uh, it is from the Sauvergne, or Sauvergne uh, Distillery in France, which is um, owned by Bacardi. Which Bacardi owns quite a bit of. It's uh, one of those con conglomerates. Yes, it's a conglomerate. Uh, so it is a 40% or 80 proof. 40% 80 proof. He writes things down, and if he doesn't, then he'll ask me like two minutes from now what the proof is. What's the proof? <laughs> it is aged. I think this is actually pretty funny. It's aged. 4.5 years. 4.5. Yeah. Not a year and a half, but 4.5? Well, no. I mean, why not say four years or five years or however many months, but 4.5 years. And it is a little bit costly. I did buy, um, I mean, I really like cognac, um, but this is a little bit more expensive than I normally buy. Now, Cody, on the other hand, likes the Hennessy's. And he, he's the snobby rich guy that wants all the expensive stuff. Well, and this was a Christmas thing. Yeah, I actually bought it for him. Uh, the price on this is $53.99. $53.99. Uh, which I don't think is actually that horrible, but the last bottle of cognac I bought was like 23 bucks. I know there's some like cognacs that are like yeah, cognacs in general seem to be around the twenty to thirty dollar range, and then and that's the VSs, and then you can get the VSOPs or the XOs, and that price starts rising. But fifty three seems kind of on the high end of VSOP. Of course, if you're getting some sort of I don't know um, specialty like a Hennessy, that's you know one hundred and fifty bucks or something because it's very rare, or it's very aged. And I noticed that Cody's over there warming it in his... Yes. And I know that a lot of it is like a candle. To... Does he have his candle on it? No, but that's one of the ways you drink it. Is he, and I've done that before, and it's like, that just makes the shape of the glass right. holds the alcohol, and then when you put it up here, it's like, whoa. And when the shape of the glass is also designed to hold it in a way that your body temperature warms, warms it up. Um, and you talked about a candle, you can warm it on that. Uh, it's a cool bottle. Uh, I really like this bottle because it is a glass top, but it's got a regular cork synthetic cork where the glass top or the glass corks are such a pain to open. You know, that's all glass. I don't yeah, think I want to break it. Found some of mine that have the glass Cork, not the cognac, but the whiskeys and stuff. It's like why it. It's, Rip, Ripple has a glass cork. Shan Ripple. <laughs> but it's like it's cool. But it's like why did you do this? Because it's like not very um, serviceable. And it might be also economics. If it's got a glass cork, you kind of intone that it's a a more. I don't know, expensive 
Mm -hmm. And so I've, I've actually seen a lot of really cool whiskey and uh, other spirit bottles that you know good and well that you're paying for the bottle because the stuff inside is not better, as right? good as the bottle. Yeah. I, I concur. So uh, it's got a really nice fruity. Yeah, it's uh, very fruity. But not as fruity as, you know, more of a wine or grapeish aroma that some other cognacs have. It's got a little like cherry pear kind of. Okay. It just smells like a, a, a grape fruitiness to me. In fact, as soon as I said grape, it just, I mean, it's, it almost yeah. makes me think of the old grape sodas I used to drink. More I said pear, I get, I'm getting more pear on it. Yeah, I can get that. It smells really good though. And I like cognac after heavy meals. Um, and so we just had a really heavy meal. So this might set well with you. I almost think this is like an aperitif, or a, actually more of a digestive. It'd be something I could go to a bar and have while I'm waiting for food, you know, and then have something after. Very smooth, got a little bit of back uh, burn to it, but not much. More of a lingering taste, not a burn. It's got the anise, the licorice. A little bit, yeah. I don't... It's really good. I really like the bottle more than the flavor. I think it's it's a good cognac, though. I like the cognac. We, I don't drink it a lot, so it's like kind of hard for me to like say this is good or I buy good. my cognac in... Um, uh, normally, I've been buying St. Domain's and put it in my decanter. decanter. Yeah. And so the St. Domain's range is a VS, VSOP, and I think they have an XO. It's pretty good and it's reasonable price. Uh, my favorite one is Fusey, um, which I don't really have the ability to afford because it's more about this price. Um, I love Hennessy. Um, Cody got me hooked on Hennessy, the, the VS, the VSOP, and the black. But this is really cool. I like the decanter better. I think it's cool, the little... The Almost bottle. holy hand grenade. Dump. Yeah. What'd you do? Hey, don't show you that. <laughs> uh, it's it's kind of like a almost a religious monkish thing. So, which you know, they're the ones that's that what they started it. to yeah. make it. So it's like kind of being true to the whole thing. So I don't know. It's good. So if you're a cognac lover out there, and I find the the transition between whiskey and cognac very easy. But if you're a cognac lover out there, leave a comment on what your favorite is and what you think about uh, the douce, douce, douce weather. I don't know what I'm what saying. Call it douche. D u s s e. <laughs> Such a, uh, I spent my whole time editing him out. <laughs> Tell us what you think. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe, and check out Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and all of our merchandise. And also check out all of our other videos Tuesday and Thursday. We got some really good. Uh, Whiskey's coming up, uh, so... And I know you just did a coffee episode that you're going to yeah, be Yeah, we're going to do a coffee on Wednesday, and then, of course, cocktails on uh, Friday. And we're getting towards the end of the month. And the last cocktail episode, the drunk uncle. No, that was two weeks ago. And it just posted, because I just watched it. Yeah, two weeks ago. What he doesn't know is that we pre-record videos for the week, and so he's off a week. So he's ruined the magic for all of you guys. See, that's why you gotta watch to the end, because Andy always ruins things. That's what I do. That's what he does. All right, I hope you have a great week, and we'll see you on Tuesday for Whiskey. Bye. Later.